what's up guys happy 2018 i'm so glad to be here i am finally feeling better um as you all can see i have my nice clean ready for 2018 office going here and got my little setup got my lights going we are ready to rock and roll 2018 i've decided to do a little challenge for myself i've already kind of started it like around christmas time but I wanted to bring you all into it so while I'm doing my one spending freeze which started January 2nd because January 1 was New Year's Eve I mean New Year's Day so yeah whatever January 2nd I started my spending freeze I've done well so far by the way I've also started a challenge with my um, personal spending account I started a $20 challenge. So every week when I get paid, I take out $20. Now, $20 can be in any denomination. It's 20 bucks in my rules there, y'all. It could be in any denomination. It could be a 10, 5, and 5 ones. It could be all ones. It could be two fives, two tens, whatever. Take it out and see if I can avoid spending it. Now, I'm emptying out my wallet from the week, and I actually had $4 in here from the last time I took out $20, which was the week before. Like I said, I started it um, back in 2017, at the end of 2017, so I have an extra $4 in here. And I got my thing attached, but my keys are attached, but uh, I'm using my Century Safe, guys. I'm going to use it again. I'm going to do the cash box challenge again. And whenever I don't spend the money, I'm just going to take it and put it into my cash box. Now, as you all see, if I can get it not to focus on my face, <laughs> my cash box already has some cash in it. And I'm just going to put the money in here. And at some point, I'm just going to take it out, put it back in the bank. And it's just something that I do just to see how much I can save because usually if I have money in my account, I will just spend it down. So if I take it out, then I'm not spending it and then I can use it for something special. I haven't decided on what that something special is. I am looking for ideas. So if you have any, leave them below. The second thing that I am doing, actually we're on the third because I already told you all about the spending challenge, uh, the no spend. Um, the third thing that I'm doing, which is the family thing, is the $30 Christmas challenge. Now, we're doing $30 a week until Christmas, and I believe it's like $1,500 and some change. I'll post the link to the PDF I have on the site below. Just basically, um, it breaks down each week, $30, adding it all the way up to the end. And it's in reverse order because I like to highlight as I go. So I like to go up when I highlight. So yeah, that's going to be on the blog, www.thewealthywallet.com. And you all can get the PDF, download it, whatever, and use that if you want to just roll along with me because we're only at $30 right now. Next week will be 60, following week 90, so on and so forth. So that is what I am doing so far this year, guys. Um, I want to include you all on one of my planners that I'm working in with the budget, how I keep a visual accounting of everything that's due so that way I don't wind up missing stuff. So I will let you all see that. I am big into planners and stuff like that, but I don't want to make this channel about, ooh, watch me decorate this. <laughs> So I will just show you all my recollections planner that I actually keep the budget in and show you all all of that. And then I'm still waiting on my paycheck because, you know, my paycheck is going down because my husband on my insurance now and his paycheck is going up. Now, as of this week, I only got one week of me, I mean, of him not having the insurance. So I won't know until the 19th, I believe is the end of the week or the week, after, the week after this one, what my husband's real paycheck is like. So I can't start like doing the budget and deciding what all is gonna go toward the Sally Mae slash Navient payoff. Now the Sally Mae slash Navient payoff is still number one. The only thing I don't like about this company is they choose how they apply your payment and that drives me crazy because what if I want to pay off one loan, you know, and just pay the minimum on the other? I don't have the option to do that. So I just have to throw as much money as I can. They divide it amongst the two and they just evenly go down. 
yeah guys that's what's going on so until next time guys remember the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy